Hello kids and queens, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic, especially for college students, which is how to land an internship. We know internships are very important, especially when it comes to getting experience in our major before we actually graduate, so we know, you know, if we actually like what we're doing. <laughs> and coming from someone who has graduated college, getting an internship is actually very important in my opinion in college because it helps you kind of figure out if you like what you're studying um when it comes to the real world because everybody knows that education is very different than like actually practicing it in the real world so the, the, an internship kind of helps you see what an accountant does or what an engineer does or what whatever you're studying does and it's really really beneficial because it actually gives you experience before you graduate so you have something to talk about and experiences to share when you're applying for your full-time job i have some really great tips and tricks that helped me um when i was in search of my internships during college and i actually did two internships during college just for some background but if you want to hear some tips and tricks that i've used to get the internships that i wanted in college stay tuned because i have some great tips first thing and I honestly think this is probably the most important thing is to start early it doesn't matter if you're a freshman sophomore like it's never too early to get an internship there are a lot of students who intern the summer after their freshman year while that might seem really really early it's actually not because it's just giving that um student more exposure to different companies so you can literally intern every single summer of your of your college experience even if you don't intern your the first summer because i didn't intern the first summer either make sure you do something so attend a leadership conference um attend a networking event during school like do all of those things but just make sure you start early that's my first tip because it's literally never too early to meet a company and once you make those connections they're only going to be long lasting because you're going to be there for three more years the next thing is to get involved oh my god this is so important like not just getting involved with um you know fun clubs but getting involved with things that have to do with your majors of course you want to join organizations that are really fun and for your personal um benefit but you also want to join organizations that are going to help your career development so if it's like a business society or if it's um or if it's a leadership in something that has to do with your major it's super important because because usually those um organizations meet with recruiters and they have events with com with companies and if you're literally organizing that event for a company you're already making that connection so you can speak to them way more than a student would if they were just coming to their career for if you're like helping that um that company have events with your organization on campus you're making that connection so easy so it's going to be a lot simpler when you apply to the internship because they're going to know oh i know that person i'm gonna you know get them in for an interview it's going to make your networking process a lot easier if you just join an organization that has to do with your major along with getting involved i would also say being a leader some in some kind of way in an organization this is always a big plus because it shows the employer that you have um some kind of executive presence and you know how how to work with other people being able to say that hey i was you know a leader in this organization that had this and this and this kind of responsibilities it already sets you apart from a lot of students who were just let's say members of an organization and they didn't have a leadership role so make sure that you join something that you really really enjoy and you are a leader in that and that will make a lot of difference for you the next thing is networking. Some people don't really understand how important networking is. When I say networking, I don't mean just with employers. I mean with teachers. I mean with other students. Anybody who you cross paths with, you should be networking with them because you never know who they can get you in touch with. You want to ask um, senior students, hey, how did you get this internship? Or you want to ask um, people who have been through it before how they got there. And usually somebody who has already been through an internship knows the recruiter really well. So you can be like, hey, can you introduce me? That's a form of networking because then, then you're not like waiting in line like everybody else. You're having somebody else introduce you. So the recruiter is saying, okay, if this person that I hired last year knows this person and wants to introduce them to me, like it's just, it makes it just that much more comfortable for that recruiter to speak to you. And it makes it way better for you because you don't have to be like, oh, hello, my name is Danny. And blah, blah, blah. like, you don't feel so, um, how do you say, you don't feel so troubled because somebody else is introducing you. So make sure that you treat everybody as an asset because anyone, literally anyone can help you get to where you want to be. So um, network with people and go to networking events. This is so important. Even if you go and you talk to three people, that's still three more people that you met 
that you wouldn't have met if you didn't go it's and they have so many of these during college so don't miss out go to networking events go to career first even if you're a freshman or sophomore it doesn't matter go and then see see who you can meet so you can make those connections early on in your college career another one would be attend conferences so this is definitely for um schools that are a little bit smaller and they don't have big employers come to them you can always sign up online to go to a specific conference like in another state some conferences that i've been to are alpha um i know that nesby has one and um naba has one and there are a lot of other um societies that will host conferences for students and they'll host it in a specific city and allow you to buy a ticket and come so if you know that the company that you want to work for doesn't come to your school to recruit you can always sign up for a conference that you know they'll be at and then you can go there and um try to network and try to get your um, internship that way as well. Actually, conferences also link back to the organization that you're part of because a lot of organizations will have national conferences where they'll meet, where they'll all meet in a, diff in a specific city. So if you're already part of that, um, if you're already part of that group on campus, it makes it that much easier for you to go to their to their conference. So that's, that's why it's so important to join a organization that's related to what you want to do because it gives you a lot of opportunities that way as well. So just because you go to a small school does not mean you can't get an internship. It's still very possible. You just have to go out of your... Um, out of your way a little bit so you can meet these bigger employers that you want to work for another one would be talk to your um campus resources so they have a lot of career um resources on campus elicited from my school a lot of students don't actually use the campus resources that they're given um in order to get internships and it's a, it's a shame because there are a lot of resources if you just start early so i would say first day of school go to someone in the career um counseling office and say the career services office and say i really want to get an internship this semester how can i get started and they'll help you with resumes they'll help you with interviews they'll help you with um you know dates to go to things things like that and it and like again it'll just help you network more because these are people that do this literally for a living so they're really good at this and they know a lot of recruiters that come to the school so that can get you to um get those connections a lot quicker than students who don't do that the next tip is to apply to as many places as possible. There's nothing wrong with applying to a place that you don't necessarily want to work at. I always say that you can never have too many options when it comes to internships. So just because you apply to somewhere doesn't mean you have to go there, right? So apply to different places because you never know what you're going to get, especially your, like if it's your freshman, sophomore year. Apply everywhere because, hey, if you get something great, if you don't, okay too. And actually this can really help you um, to get experience with like, learning how to interview and learning how to speak to employers and things like that i always say whenever you want to approach an employer like if you go to a career fair always pick the company that you want to work for at least first so that you can get like all the the um the nervousness out of you and you can just speak to them because you don't really care if you mess up anyway and then after you get like a a good um after you get like a good speech going on, a good 30 second pitch, then you can start going to the employers that you actually do want to work for and so you feel like you're more prepared and you don't feel like um, you're going to mess up and like say things that you don't really mean. Um, so there's nothing wrong with applying to as much places as possible. If you get an interview, go to the interview so that that's going to give you more interview skills anyway. And then when you get to the, the point where you actually want to work for this company and they're interviewing you, you feel more confident in your interview because you've had these same questions asked to you before. If you guys want to see a um, how to rock an interview video, I can definitely do that as well. So let me know in the comments. Next thing I would say is presentation. Presentation is so very important. The first six seconds somebody sees you and talks to you, that's when they make their impression about you. You want to make sure you present yourself in a very professional manner and you're putting your best foot forward. You know, you're going up there, dressed business casual at least. Um, you have your 30 second pitch now. You have some questions that you want to ask somebody. You want to make the recruiter feel like they're having a conversation with you rather than they're just talking to a student who's really nervous and wants to get all their experience out there like you do not want to go up to a, a recruiter and say hi my name is blah blah blah, blah. i do this on campus and you like just keep talking keep talking like you want to make it a conversation ask them about what their journey at the company is um tell them about what you're interested in. let it go back and forth rather than just like blurbing everything and then like staring and just like nothing else to say here <laughs> so you want to make sure that you prepare talk with some friends again go to the career services office they'll help you with the 30 second second pitch so that when you're going to and so that when you're going to approach an employer you don't feel like you don't know what you're saying because you've already practiced the last tip i want to give you guys is to do your research on the company this is so highly important because you don't want to literally go up to a company and be like oh yeah and this and this i'm really interested and they're like okay what do you know about the company you're like i know your bank and then it's not even a bank. <laughs> like, you do not want to do that. Make sure you do some research on the company. Even if it's like one of the ones that you don't really care about. Still do research so you can get in the habit of doing that. So when you're going up to employers, you have something like 
of value to say and you have a good question to ask them make sure you ask a, qu a question that has to do with like maybe a current event that's happening in the company seeing that the tax reform just happened how is that going to affect the accounting practice at your company like something that actually makes sense to ask insightful questions so those are some of my tips on how to land an internship in college if you guys want to see a video about interview tips or like a 30 second pitch like what to say to a, a recruiter when you approach them definitely let me know down in the comments because i would love to do something like this i didn't want to like combine all that in one video because it's just been too long of a video and you probably get bored and click off so if you guys want to see how to like um comprise a good comprehensive 30 second pitch let me know and also interview tips let me know down in the comments and i will be glad to do that for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe and also turn your notifications on so you can be notified when i post the next video so kings and queens i hope you all land your dream internship and i'll see you guys in the next video bye